hello guys welcome back to our channel so today in this video we are going to talk about deloitte interview questions that were shared by one of our subscriber friend who recently got an opportunity to have an interview with deloitte so coming to the interview process so there were three rounds round one round two and round three in the round one it was an online test like mcq plus coding and round two was a face-to-face -face interview round three was an hr so here is the mail that we got so the position for which the interview has happened is for consultant position the location was kolkata and the package that was offered is 10 lakhs per, per annum with 25 percent variable and the experience at the time of interview was three plus years and coming to round one mcq plus coding easy to moderate level platform mocha and second round was face to face now we are going to discuss about the questions first question what is oops so java defines oops as follows there are basically whenever we we encounter this question we can talk about the four pillars of oops that is abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism so coming to the definition abstraction so we all know <coughs> like using simple things like what abstraction does is using simple things we represent complexity like we all know how to turn on the tv but we don't need to know how it works in order to enjoy it, right? So that is abstraction here. So we hide the complexity and expose the simple things to the outer world. That is called abstraction. Next is encapsulation. The practice of keeping fields within a class private, then providing access to those fields via public methods. Encapsulation is a protective barrier that keeps the data and code safe within the class itself. We can then reuse the objects like code, components, or variables without following open access to the data system wide. So that was about the encapsulation. Now coming to inheritance, a special fe this is a special feature of object oriented programming in Java. Inheritance lets programmers create new classes that share some of the attributes of existing classes. Using inheritance, let us, like inheritance lets us build on previous work without reinventing the complete wheel. And coming to polymorphism, it allows programmers to use same word, word in Java to mean different things in different contexts. One of the polymorphism is method overloading, right? So that was about the OOPS concepts. Now coming to the functional int. Next question, what is functional interface? So a functional interface in Java is an interface that contains only one single abstract method abstract means unimplemented method and th there can be any number of default and static methods so that is called functional interface there were functional interfaces like these kind of interfaces with one method before to java 1.8 as well in java 1.8 at the rate functional interface annotation came into picture next question does main method or static block execute first so always the static block execute first because java language specification mandates that static block must be executed first there can be more than one static block and each of them are executed in the order of their declaration static blocks are executed when the class is loaded in the memory that is jvm so coming to the next question what is spring profile and how to configure so spring profile allows to define profile specific property files in the form of application hyphen the profile dot properties it automatically loads the properties in the application dot properties file for all profiles and the ones of in the profile specific property files for the specified profile here profile is nothing but like dev environment prod environment staging qa environment there can be n number of environments that differs from project to project you may name it in any sense but that is how it is also and coming to how to configure it the solution would be to create more property files and add the profile name as the suffix and the configure spring boot to pick up the appropriate properties based on the profile example like a application hyphen dev dot properties it will load in the dev environment application hyphen prod that will load in the production so like that we can do that so coming to the next question where in my project I have used Q data structure. So our subscriber friend says I couldn't answer because we don't use in our project. So there can be n number of use cases like 
uh, communicating from one microservice to another microservice here also we can use kafka producer and consumer or you are from your project you are completely publishing a message to some other uh, application which will pick it up there you can use it so it depends on the project to project if you haven't worked on so it is always better to say that i haven't worked on that because more number of questions will pile up again coming to the next question which is six life cycle of threads so there are uh, we can say like five like new active blocked timed waiting and terminated these are the five life cycle methods or life cycle of a thread then comes the next question spring activator so spring activators brings like production ready features to our application we need to configure this through a dependency in the pom so we need to have this pom spring activator dependency in the pom then we can uh, make use of the functionality like this feature so like to answer it we can answer it in this way activator brings production ready features to our application monitoring our app gathering matrices understanding traffic or the state of our database become trivial with the depend with this dependency the main benefit of this library is that we can get production great tools without having actually implement these features ourselves activator is mainly used to expose operational information about the running application like health matrices info dump environment etc it uses http endpoints or jmx beans to enable us to interact with it once this dependency is on the class path several endpoints are available for us out of the box as with as with most spring modules we can easily configure or extend it in many ways few examples are slash help so which summarizes the health of health status of our application slash environment returns the current environment properties additionally we can retrieve single properties as well slash bean returns all the available beans in the bean factory slash heap dump builds and returns a heap dump from the jvm used by our application slash shutdown performs a graceful shutdown of the application here are the few endpoints that i have talked there are many other as well you can talk about it different types of constraint present in my sql db so there are like uh, right now what i can get is not null unique primary key foreign key check default uh, create index so coming to not null ensure that the column cannot be null value unique means ensure that all values in the column are different primary key a combination of not null and unique uniquely identifies each row in a table foreign key prevents action that would destroy links between tables check ensure the value in a column satisfies a specific condition default like sets a default value for a column if no value is specified create index used to create and retrieve data from database very quickly so these are the different constraint types we can talk about coming to the next question what is normalization and why we require i was able to answer partially as i as i last read it on it during college days this was the answer that our candidate gave but normalization like coming to normalization answer it is a technique for organizing data in database it is important that data is normalized to minimum minimize the re redundancy like redundancy means duplicate data and to ensure only related data is stored in each table it also prevents any issues stemming from database modification such as insertion deletions and updates so there are n number of techniques to do this again so if you are aware of it or like there can be a counter questions on this like one and two and three and there are different ways coming to the next question different types of joins so like considering this uh, as the earlier question was on mysql so there are like four joins inner join left join right join cross join so inner joins means returns record that have matching values in both the tables left join returns all the records from the left table and the match record from the right table right join is vice versa like it returns all the table all the records from the right table and match record from the left table cross join returns all the records from both the tables so these were the questions that was shared by our subscriber friend so here is the look of the entire build that we got so we have gone through all the questions so this was for a <coughs> three plus years experience candidate the package that got offered was 10 lakhs per annum with 25 percent variable okay 
that means 7.5 is the fixed here you can see so these were the questions that we have already discussed with the answers if you want to share your interview question experiences you can feel free to reach us at the email id that is there in the description so this is a other part so feedback from the second round was given to the candidate like our friend need to study little more on spring boot was the feedback that was given so that's it in this video guys uh, so if you if you haven't subscribed us please do subscribe please do like it share it to other technical platforms so that it might help someone and provide the feedback as well so if you are on our channel for the first time and wondering who are we and what we do so we are basically a bunch of software engineers who attend different inter attend interviews with different mnc's and share our real-time interview experiences apart from that we also share our subscriber friends interview experiences through these videos and if you are wondering what are the company names that are getting printed on your screen so these are the company's interview experiences real-time interview experiences that we have already shared so visit our channel and catch you can get all the benefits and subscribe don't forget to subscribe to catch all the updates and thanks for watching have a great day